Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I'm so unbelievably excited because it's finally time for me to sit down and share with you my top five new skincare discoveries of 2022. I might have only started using these products this year, but already they've started to transform my skin, boost my skin confidence, and help me to reach my skincare goals. That's why I want to sit down and fangirl a little bit about each and every one of them today. There's something here for everyone, no matter what your price point, your skin type, or what type of product you enjoy. Hopefully there'll be something that might pique your interest and you might want to incorporate in your skincare care routine as we enter 2023. Sit back, relax, let's start the best new skincare. Now before we get into this video, if you're watching on the day of launch, it is of course American Thanksgiving. So I just want to send a big shout out and lots of love to any of the viewers coming here from the US. Happy Thanksgiving to you, your family, and I hope you're having the most wonderful time. I'm certainly thankful for all of these products that I discovered this year, which is why I thought it was quite a good time to sit down and film this video today. I would of course love to know A, what you're doing for Thanksgiving, what you're eating, because I'm a huge, huge foodie, so I would love to know, and what single skincare product you think have discovered this year and made the biggest impact on your own routine. So let me know all of that in the comments section below. I'm going to keep this short, sharp and to the point. So let's just cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Number one, I'm going to talk about briefly because I actually did a standalone video singing its praises, fangirling about it intensely. So I don't need to labor the point in this video. It is of course this one. This is the Geek Gorgeous A Game 10. I'm going to leave a link to that video up there if you want to know more about this product and why ultimately this is, in my opinion, the best skincare product bar none on planet Earth in 2022. The reason for this is retinal is actually a much more potent version of retinol, delivers much better benefits, often quicker outcomes, and with a reduced risk of sensitivity and irritation. You get all of that benefit at a beautifully affordable price point with this. Because retinal is that a little bit more potent, you tend to get those quicker results. Brands know this, and so they tend to charge a higher price point for it. The Medicaid Crystal Retinal, which is a wonderful collection of retinal products, commands upwards of like a hundred dollar price point. Point. Aven, which is a really affordable drugstore brand, still charges like $30 or $40 for their retinal product. Geek and Gorgeous, this is just 14 euros, so around like the 13 pounds price point. They also have a 15% sale on for like Thanksgiving, Black Friday and all of that, which I've linked in the description box below if you do want to get your hands on this while well, it's 15% off. For me, this is definitely the best over-the-counter retinoid I think I've discovered. You know, it's got some anti-aging benefit, it's got some anti-acne benefit, it doesn't strip and dry, it's affordable. Like, I just don't think we can ask for more, which is why this is such, such a firm favourite. And I'm kind of kicking myself for just starting using it this year, but I discovered this like four years ago, I think my skincare routine would have progressed a lot quicker. And I'm just really thankful for this. Now, in positions two and three, I've actually got two toners, which is quite surprising because I'm not the biggest fan of toners. I know some people out there love them. They like the texture of a toner. They like the different benefits you can get from them. Some people incorporate like five, six, seven or more toners in their morning skincare routine. For me, I, I don't know. There's something about the time. I just prefer a thicker consistency to my products. So I tend not to reach for toners. I'll look for the same outcomes, but maybe in serum form. However, this year I discovered two toners, which really surprised me with just how much I enjoyed them and the benefits I got. In positions two and three are these. Let's start with this. This is a Ciaris My First Essencer. So this is actually designed to be an essence and a toner all in one. So if you're the top person like me that gets completely baffled and confused with the differences between toners and essences, kind of don't worry about it. Just get one that gets the benefit of both all in one product. And this I love because look at the viscosity of that. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but this is the texture of a serum but with the benefits of a toner and an essence. It's kind of everything you want in a product and is really unique and special. And this has a near 50% concentration of organic green tea, powerful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, calm and soothe the skin. It's got a low concentration of polyglutamic acid, which is gonna be a really nice humectant to plump out the skin, retain all that moisture. And it's packed full of all that hydrators, which are just gonna deeply nourish in a way that I think some of the toners just don't. If you're looking for something that's gonna plump out the skin, also deliver you a wonderful level of hydration, calm, soothe, and have some anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits. All of that, one product. This is kind of it. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for this. I'm on like bottle number three now. It was something in the region of like 10 to 15 pounds. And because it is so thick, a little does go a long way. Put a couple of drops in some palm of your hand, dab it into the skin. And I think it just takes your skincare routine to the next level without really having to cost a whole lot. The other toner that I discovered in my life this year is this. This is a secret key starting treatment essence. I've talked about this on the channel before. In fact, I fangirled about it in a separate video, which again, I'm going to leave a link to up there if you want to know a little bit more more about this. A couple of reasons I first decided to try this, even though I'm not the biggest fan of toners. One, everyone said it was like the perfect dupe for the bougie and luxury SK2 essence. 
and it absolutely is one tenth of the cost though which i love it looks bougie it looks i think i paid like 12 or 13 pounds for this so it's not break the bank pricing and it looks quite bougie on the vanity which i like i like skincare products that appeal visually to me make me want to gravitate towards and use and this definitely does that it have very similar outcomes profile to that crs essencer in that it hydrates it plumps out the skin it's got some anti-aging benefit and it will calm and soothe at the same time but it does so in a significantly different way this is actually packed full of fermented ingredients and ferments are wonderful they have some great anti-aging benefits some people even say over time this can help even out the skin tone which is an added benefit as i someone that suffers with hyperpigmentation dark spots and discoloration this just makes the rest of the serums i apply onto the skin work that little bit harder uh, something i always want to get across is if you're using water-based serums make sure that you apply them onto damp skin they'll penetrate better you'll get more bang for your buck and this is like the best way of dampening the skin before you then layer on those serums afterwards i love it Interesting truth i don't think you need both of these in your life i think it's one or the other because they have very similar outcomes if you want to be bougie you want to be extra you can absolutely buy them both but i'd say choose between the two and i'm going to work out in the next couple of months which is my absolute favorite and continue with that and discontinue the other but honestly you can't go wrong with either of them now 2022 is the year where i kind of took a little bit of a step back from korean skincare 2021 i got a bit obsessed i bought just about every korean skincare product on the market and i was layering so many different products in my skincare routine all of which had very similar outcomes so I don't think I was getting a lot of benefit for the money that I was spending. I had made a commitment to myself this year that I was going to look at everything, streamline things down and make sure that every single product in my routine had a purpose that wasn't being met by any of the other products. This meant that I said goodbye to a lot of my Korean skincare products that so were really focused down on like calming, soothing, hydration, you know, I already had products that were dealing with that. So it's a bit of a surprise to me that I get to the end of the year and three of the products in my top five new skincare were from Korea. And we've had those two toners and I want to introduce you to this. This is the V Green Seeker Serum. Talk about this on the channel all the time because I've pretty much been in love with this throughout 2022. And it's because it's actually a really special product. If you read what V Green say about this, I think they undersell it. They say it's a Centella Asiatica Serum that's gonna calm, soothe and hydrate the skin. Absolutely, but if you compare and contrast this to other Centella serums, this is like streets ahead. A lot of brands will put a small quantity of Centella Asiatica in there so they can put it all front and center on their marketing and know that people will gravitate towards it because it's a super popular ingredient. V Green put a really meaningful concentration of Centella Asiatica extract in here, but they've also isolated the individual active components within Centella and added those in on top of that. So you're kind of like doubling down, dialing up the amount of benefits that you're going to see. This is one of the best serums when it comes to calming and soothing. If maybe you go a little bit heavy on an exfoliator, put this on transform like that it hydrates in a really really nice way that i think lasts a bit longer sometimes you put hydrating serum on then like you know an hour later your skin's tight and dry again not with this it kind of hydrates you throughout the day what i love to do with this is to pair it with my vitamin c because studies show that vitamin c and centella together like quadruple the amount of additional collagen that your body will produce from just using a vitamin c alone if that's not enough to convince you to give this a try and actually you know dial up the rate of anti-aging in your routine and again it's super super inexpensive and um, i find that this is quite a generous product because you get 50 mil versus like 30 mil which a lot of serums come in and a little does go a long way you don't need to be too lavish with this a couple of pumps across the face and neck is all that you need and if you want to know how to incorporate this with vitamin c i covered it off in a separate video which i'll link up there but yeah i was as surprised as a lot of people out there to see that three korean skincare products featured in this top five in a year where i thought i'd say goodbye to a lot of my korean skincare favorites honestly clearly not they're still knocking out of the park and v green are one of my favorite favorite skincare brands now finally let's talk this product this is the psa skin silver lining now this is a moisturizer which does way 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 more than just moisturize i've got super oily and acne prone skin and so i always thought you know i don't really need a moisturizer in my life i you know, i create enough grease on my own i don't need to add to that but i always think it is really important to incorporate a moisturizer no matter what your skin type but to find one that actually delivers for your individual skin's needs. If you've got oily or combination skin, this is literally everything. So in here, you've got a really nice level of hydration from some great moisturizing agents. But you've also got silver, which is antimicrobial. So if you have a lot of breakouts, particularly active breakouts, this can help to minimize the amount of acne causing bacteria on the skin, which will reduce the prevalence of those breakouts in a relatively short space of time. It's also got some great exfoliators in here, which are super gentle, but will just help with any hyperpigmentation and acne scarring that you have. And it's all designed to do all of this in a calming and soothing way. Sometimes we can go in with too 
harsh actives and that can inflame our breakouts. Not with this. It is a little bit on the pricier side when you compare and contrast it to the rest of the products I've talked about today, but it's worth it every single time. I use a small pea size amount of this across the face on an evening. I wake up and I notice any active breakouts I have are diminished. My skin is still really nice, soft, supple and hydrated. And yeah, this is just a real like holy grail. And this is coming from someone that never thought a moisturizer was that essential. I'm here to tell you, this might just be, if you've got a dry skin type, probably won't work for you in the way that it has with me. But if you have any congestion or active breakouts, but you want to tackle that with a little hydration to boot, I think hands down, this is the one that's worked the best for me. It's currently buy one, get one free throughout like Thanksgiving and the Black Friday sale period. So I've linked it in the description box below, but I'd say because it does come with a slightly higher price point, if you did want to try it out, now is probably the time to make sure that you get that buy one, get one free, share one with a friend. I'll just keep it in stock for when you use the first tube out, but you won't be sorry that you tried this out. Now, finally, before I leave you, I've got one honorable mention, which is this. This is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. I did want to include it in the top five because I think it's a bit conceited to fan God that much about your own product, but I am super proud of this sunscreen. It took me years to work out a formulation that is so lightweight, it feels genuinely invisible on the skin. No white cast, no ashiness, doesn't weigh you down, but it acts as a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one. Great if, like me, you've got super oily, acne-prone skin on a morning, put this on, and it kind of does a two-in-one. Um, I wanted to give a quick shout-out to this because I'm so, so proud of the formulation and the texture that delivers on the skin. I know so many of you guys are trying it out and loving it just as much as me, which makes me so, so happy. So I'm genuinely glad that I was able to bring this to market. And for the month of November, if you want to put one of these on order, also put one of the Mad About Skin lip conditioners in your cart at the same time, then when you check out, you'll find that the lip conditioner is magically free of charge. So for every one of these you buy, you get a lip conditioner free. You just need to put it in your basket at the same time. It's all explained in the description box below. So there you have it, guys. A rundown of my five top new skincare discoveries of 2022. Are there any products that I'm missing from this list that you'd add? Sound off in the comment section below, wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.